Um, we're just gonna get a run cooking. Or I should say, keep cooking our current run. It's not quite done yet, right? Where did we leave off? Actually, closer to day 30. Okay. Well, that's a, a good start when you when you first sign on, huh? They should caravan AI is so weird. Like sometimes they come to you, sometimes they don't. We want to dagger that if at all possible. Maybe we don't care right now. I can just end all. See what happens. Something will run at me if I wait. Yeah. Like, we want to dagger that for profit, right? using unnecessary throwing ammo right now. Bow ammo is fine. Ow. I don't necessarily want a two-on-one. Like maybe maybe puncture is not in their move set and I don't care, but if it is, I definitely care, right? He doesn't have quick hands yet. Sorry, just booting up. We're we're forgetting where we were at on our bros, right? Ah. <sighs> um, where's this thing in the attack order? Like way back. Can wait. That should have been an aim shot. Sloppy. Sloppy right now, chat. need to step into a dead man style chill wall we'll tie this up for now make the dagger a little bit easier I guess we were deciding if we wanted to throw or not, huh? Um, conserve throwing ammo. 
it's expensive. Like, he's there if we need him, but he probably won't. shot I had 11% chance to hit but whatever that was a 10% that's pretty nice This should still be a net profit if I even even taking those hits. He gets nimble, he can upgrade out of that. In the meantime, okay, that, that went fine. We have 11 bros, we can clear camps, we can have one guy. Um, in training, so I'd like to find our tank and just start like one of our tanks, right? We're gonna have a couple, but I'd like to find a potential forge tank and start working on him. This guy's been here this whole run. He was here yesterday all day. He's, I'm not buying a 610 gold caravan hand with a short sword, no hat, and 35 mil. It's Chat, it's not happening. I, I refuse. I reject this. There's a wild timer someplace I, I want to go. This is fine. Because we're about to start a, uh, a raiding run up north, right? So just grab the tools. Clean out stuff we don't care about. Keeping this hammer, I'm not sure if I'm using it or not. Um, I'll get more food from the wagons. Let's see if this is a fight. This is a fight. We'll do this fight, then we'll do that caravan. You thought that was a League of Legends shot menu for a second? This is a small group. Watch, it's gonna be like horrendous. It's gonna be like all two-handed weapons and gun. This is like a very manageable group. Um. Yeah, no, not not awful at all. Just gonna burst stuff down here, right? That 
also works. They're kind of sad without Mage Mastery, huh? say um can i make it in up here in time to dagger this guy the, the that sound that the chain makes is so satisfying. I don't know why. Maybe there's something wrong with me, but it, it just is, chat. I, I, I can't help it. Let's block the hardest tile to reach. Yeah, we're just trying to make sure he doesn't get away, right? care who it is as long as we block him at this point. So we're daggering here. Like, it's low econ. It's just a set of armor in perfect condition. It sells for good money, so. This is the, the raider drop, right? Like, the drop from the origin. This is what we daggered. Not bad. We really just want enough money for another trip. We really just want other, enough money for another trip up north, right? Yeah, we're farming peasants. two of them i'm not using throwing throwing ammo here they'll walk on me because i have ranged weapons Oh, I'm waiting. There's still a knife. These things have puncture in their AI. And like, you mess around and be like, oh, free fight. And then you take an injury and it, and it feels really bad. All right, now, now we don't care. Now we can autopilot this fight. Traffic. I'm heading back to town here anyway. 
the caravans from the faction we've been raiding have been making it surprisingly far. Um, that's a level. Okay. What do we say we're going to do with this guy? We're going to take this, this natural four here. Um, we still don't, we still don't really know. Like, he has, he could be a battle forge, bro. Like, he has the stat line, right? Um, the question is, is are we going to get armor for him in time? I'm going to avoid taking perks that force me to commit right now. Do you want to play darkness right now? I don't know. All right. Um, I guess we could, we could wait till daytime to sell, huh? Like we don't have any card upgrades. And we're gonna want basically an empty inventory before we head up there. This is a 110. So 115, that's a 90. This is like fine. All right. Oh, somebody still has an ancient helm. I forgot I had that. on inventory space don't need another mace don't need a sword don't need this just just making room um we're good on pay for a while we're good on food for a while and we'll get food from the wagons if we're out long enough right tools are like the main bottleneck all right let's go on a raiding trip guys let's go see if we can't uh make some money Last time we were out, we hit a wagon that had three furs in it, and we got an arming sword off that off that wagon too, and like three levels. It was, it was quite nice. So we're gonna see if we can't um, have similar luck. And while we're up there, we can bust some camps. We're like still short of body, but that body's gonna be a tank anyway. And like, let's be real, in these early game fights where you're not outnumbered, like tanks just tanks don't produce the same right like it's different when they're tying up like seven dudes or six dudes late game but right now it's kind of whatever uh we need beast fights we need like there's stuff we need Ooh. don't mind if i do new set is 10 days away Um, I guess I can wait. They don't have Pathfinder. I can just end round. Has anything been spoiled that you really like, Mad Wills? Um, we can still wait here. They don't have Pathfinder. It's going to take them a year to get to us. Um, now we wait to see if anything steps in a favorable bow range. That's an arming sword. We like arming swords here. This is fine. Um, very daggerable guy, but like all all these guys are daggerable here, right? But I think we just want to try to not take a whole bunch of damage. We don't have to. Like we don't want to take damage for the sake of taking damage. Because injuries are kind of a big deal right now.
that's not even like a, a tier two bow. <laughs> like I still hate bows, chat, but you gotta admit that that specific bow was was pretty pretty nice. Um, just moving thrower support in case we need it. We we shouldn't, but just in case. expensive but we're, we're full on ammo this turns done both these things are turned done this is the plus accuracy weapon we kill this first okay we got we got both of them so that, like that works too guess we'll shift support back this way then guys <laughs> I have fast adaptation. I will eventually hit you. Okay. It's like, I'm going to hit you eventually. I don't know where my arming sword is going here, but I would I would like him to engage. That would be that'd be swell if he would just bring my sword to me. Oh come on. Oh he doesn't have throwing mastery yet. I was like, come I was like that's and it's a regular jab, right? Okay. Okay. It's why uh, Ezreal Karma is one of my favorite decks. Yeah. I've always... Every part of me loves Karma as a player. Is that a mod to be able to select secondary weapons with F1? Yes, it is. Um, it's called Additional Keybinds. It's on Nexus mods. So I don't use any um, any mods that change difficulty or affect scaling or like tryout mod or anything like that. Not that I have anything against people who do. Like it's a video game. Play it how you enjoy it. Um, but. I do use quality of life mods, and I'm I spam quick hands. By the way, welcome to the channel. You're a first time chatter. Hey, welcome. Um, I love this mod. I spam quick hands. I always have daggers and stuff in my inventory, and it prevents me from having to like do this whole thing every single time I want a quick hands. It's it's great. But yeah, welcome welcome to the stream, man. The run kicked off really well yesterday when we started it. Um, and I couldn't wait to get back to it. Uh, Arming sword? Arming sword. And two lumber. Let's go. Let's go. Straight profit. Straight profit. Let's go. His resolve is so bad. All of, all of his primaries are terrible. Oh, this is that bowyer that we were really disappointed with, huh? Whose primaries were just like actual trash. Everybody focuses on like this part of the column and like this part of the column matters a lot. <laughs> like, and this guy's primaries are absolute like trash. Um, I said this guy was fast adaptation one-hander. So he shields back here. We're just patching, we're patching the low defense, no defense star is what we're doing. 
to make a brother with the mat star usable. Um, last resolve roll. That's fine. 50 is kind of my target. So I just pick up a few natural fours when I see them. Um, where do I put this army sword chat? I guess, I guess the army sword goes here. I was so excited to get it. I didn't even know what to do with it. Um, and I don't want to spend tools on this yet. I can, I can always get one of these helms later. This guy needs a level before he can get a, a big boy weapon. Beast fight. We need beast fights. Why is it always spiders? Why is it gotta be spiders? We take it because we need to unlock the red new. And we've done, it's day 30, we've done zero beast fights. So we take this fight. So if I back two, they'll run straight up to me with no AP, right? I'm like shifting down one. They're coming pretty hard from the uh, from the south. But yeah, if I do it this way, they should. Um... They should run at me with with no AP. Like they should go base to base and not be able to do anything. Yeah. This guy moves to support here. If this if this wants to run up here and die, it can. Um, this is fine for him to have no attack there. Spear wall here. Wheel shield wall here. Cause it's like step web step attack. I guess one of them tries to get on this thrower here. archer y'all didn't see that y'all didn't see that chat nobody saw that right i was definitely looking at the wrong archer that's my bad don't play on autopilot it's, it's bad for you like bad things will happen
We didn't kill the first wave quick enough. So now we have problems. I don't think I have enough copium this morning for this. This is gonna hurt right here into this archer, but it shouldn't kill him. Just get help, help where I need it. Clean shot, it is. Doesn't matter. Eggs still here? They are. So there's actually 12 spiders, so there's probably three eggs. So there's five spiders left. One, two, three, four, five. So I kill like two more this turn, they should run. Like in theory. I don't even want I don't even want XP. I just want to like get out of this fight in reasonably decent shape. And like um start reassembling the lines a little bit. This is fine. I was like, surely, surely the spiders are gonna are gonna see the giant pile of spider bodies around me and decide this is a bad idea. If dog gets himself in trouble, dog dog gets abandoned. That that's what happens here. Like I'm I'm sorry I'm sorry, fuckers. Look at how much damage we took for like that. <laughs> but again, we we need beast fights right now. Like I can't I can't really be picky.
Um, so we want to start getting him ready to have a melee weapon, but we still have other stuff to fix. That's it. I, I do like the three day. We're going to take the natural fours. We're going to fix his HP. He needs like one four here and like one to two rolls. Um, in, um, he's like one to two rolls in fatigue to be fine as a nimble bro. That's fine. We take that. We take this four. Yep. Yep. His resolve is pitiful too. This this one may just never make it to uh to melee weapons, unfortunately. Like he's always gonna have to have a pole arm to do anything. But I guess if he lives super late game, he has a noble sword. So like if I get him to 60, he's fine. Not in Necro Savants, but most other stuff he's fine. Fortunately, we have a nice, like, long walk to our raiding zone so that we can heal up a little bit. I think there's a scripted ambush here, but if brigands want to try it right now, I'm cool. I just don't want to deal with, like, goblins in a forest at night or something like that. This is an army, but they're going that way. Right? Or they're going this way. That's an army. I need to be careful. Oh, that's just militia. Um. Can we take this fight? Um, daggering a militia captain is really, really tempting. These things also like to have bill hooks. There's 13 of them. The militia, I don't care about. That's a lot of dudes with bows, which is concerning. Like maybe I'm overestimating how strong they are. Um, I, I think I don't do this fight yet. Like I can probably take it without a problem, but I also, I don't know how cleanly we can do that fight is the issue. I'm gonna cut. I'll do that at night, when I pass it at night. I don't wanna burn through all my tools or take a bunch of in injuries before I can start raiding. I mean, that militia captain probably had some, some juicy loot for me. But then it's like, what, do I turn around? I'd rather hit some wagons and then do that, right? Oh no, oh no. Did y'all see that chat? That's a, that's a no. No, no, no. Like maybe I'm supposed to be running at everything, but guys aren't ready yet. Like, guys aren't leveled yet. We'll hit a Reaver camp if we see it. We'll hit definitely hit a Thrall camp if we see it. Any wagons we see get, get smacked. If the Barbarians and, and Brigands haven't eaten them all already. What are you? Those are like pretty... Oh, that's a caravan. Maybe they run at us, maybe they don't. Let's, let's see. I don't think they do.
this is fine. Like we're gonna let this let this army sword swing on us, which feels kind of bad. Like we don't have nimble yet; those things can still actually do a, a lot of damage. step into me that's fine it's like if that's what they want to do chat I'm I'm happy to sit here and just chew them up from from this distance. There is a universe where I dagger this guy for value. Like, if they give it to me, I'll take it. But I'm not gonna, I, I guess, I guess I can make the decision as to whether or not I wanna force a dagger here in a second. As I switch weapons. This guy can block the retreat on the guy I'm daggering, so that's fine. This is fine. Okay. just like conserve ammo here right um this is the bigger threat right like i don't i don't care about this pleb i thought you said you maxed out the ai on this caravan ai is dumb <laughs> caravan ai is real dumb so this is max combat difficulty but the enemy i'm fighting is really dirty so like They'll sit here to protect this donkey and literally just let you walk on them or they will blindly run at you if you have ranged weapons. This particular enemy is like free food. This origin, we get to fight a lot of this enemy and they drop good loot. So we, we're farming. And I don't feel bad about it. I could even kill the donkey for extra X, uh, XP if I wanted to. I just I just don't want to put chat through through the agony of donkey screams. If you're into that, I'm sorry. But yeah. No, this particular enemy is pretty dumb. Triple furs? They're dumb and they just dropped like this is uh, 900 gold worth of stuff. This will sell for like a hundred. This will sell for a for hundred and something. This will sell for a hundred. They just dropped like a, a G in, in loot. 
And that was how much work I had to do. And you still get XP for it. Not a lot. Like, they're, they're not super valuable kills. But they're free kills. So, like, I like to poke at those while looking for... Um, like, when I'm up here, I like to poke at those while looking for camps. Like this one. This is a much more dangerous fight for us where we're at now. Um, we do have rally, right? Yeah. But like we take it. Like what good is is leveling your banner if you're not if you're not taking the undead fights? Um same thing, right? We back to and because they're zombies, they're just going to they're just going to run into us. The Necro is going to be a bit of a pain. But like, it should be fine. There's no fallen heroes here. The thing that we really care about are the... I presume... Two guys, it might be three. Try and see it in the shadows, nothing makes a difference. So it's it's three guys. Which is like fine. You can intern. You can intern. You wait, you wait. You can intern. Nope, that's that's two guys. Okay. That's that's like fine, right? Uh. But yeah, Mad Wolves, it's it's max difficulty and max max scaling. So camps like this are gonna scale faster than they normally would at lower difficulty, which is like fine for me. I don't actually care about this thing as a threat, but I'm gonna make my bows do something. These guys are just like free throwing weapons. I might give them expo, like crossbows, expos. I said it high type. Um, Three attack on a Geist. Swing and a miss. I, I know I, t I t just typed a full paragraph in the LOR. Helen, LOR, about LOR, even though you're not playing it, but I wanted to thoroughly answer your question from last stream. As I realized, throwing out random stream names like I did last time isn't exactly helpful. Um. To an extent, like I, I do, I do like try to write things down and go back to stuff. Um, so I, I wouldn't say it like that. Um, like I'm definitely not offended by it. Like you're just talking about the thing you're passionate about, and that's a thing that you spend a lot of time on this stream playing. So I get it. Oh, do I want to walk my line up? Do like if I commit to this. To get this, get these swings on this guy, I'm gonna have to walk my whole line forward. But it's kind of worth it, so I don't have to deal with the guys. Like this is my only threat that's left in this fight, right? Because the necro, we just get there eventually, or or we could just miss. You know that that's like also, I guess, an acceptable option. Like we do that sometimes here. We do have to watch these possessed these possessed ones with weapons. Mm. 
I like I don't want to kill the zombie and then this comes this way. All the weapons are up top. It's actually pretty pretty bad for us. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try walking my line forward to um Oh the weapons went south. Okay. But yeah, I'm gonna try walking my line forward to uh deal with guy's shenanigans. Ow, ow, ow. That happens sometimes. Okay. Um, now that the guys are done, has he acted yet? He has acted. Now that the guys are done, we want to focus down the ones that have weapons to make the possession targets bad. Top is kind of a problem right now. This is top is top is real rough right now. But like if we lose if we lose a shield mace bro it's it's not the end of the world i would like to not lose one in the middle of a raiding trip um is it time to break on the neck bro maybe I don't, does he have the guard I don't think he has a guard, right? I haven't seen one. If he has one, it's one zombie. Maybe I'm being too ambitious, I'm trying to break free to the necro. Still have a guy in trouble up top. He has one guard. I see. I see one shadow. The misses. He has. The dude has a mace though. So. We might lose some of our, our lower tier guys here. The guy up top is in really bad shape. Like his, his body armor is completely gone. He doesn't have any AP either. Grab fatigue. This guy is subject to die here too. Ow. Ow. I'm looking at two potential losses right now.
That's what I mean. I mean, you don't want to read that paragraph later and get confused. Yeah. So, Mystic Shot is... I'm looking for the platform. YouTube. Okay. Okay. That's the, the the big issue I have, Mad Wills, is like not knowing where, where to look, right? Like I'm looking in the wrong places, you know what I mean? I would love to get that guy up top out of trouble. And this guy here. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. Like I said, maybe maybe I broke on this necro too soon. My support's not in the right place. Let's see if I can free this guy up to help here, to help bottom, and then top is just like, just like cross your fingers. Yeah, that guy's super dead. <laughs> He's dead and there's nothing I can do about it. Like, I'm not going to be able to get help there. Got I can get the guy on bottom out. Drop a dog. Dog AI. Good dog. Yep. Yep. So you're saying there's a chance. Not a good one. Break him loose. All right, you're out. Possession. Oh, just a raise. Move him back. He's confident. He's confident and dead, but he's confident at least. Because there's there's like no way I can get help to him, right? <laughs> I'm like struggling to keep that guy alive. I guess, I guess anything could happen, right? Okay, I just, I just want you out of here. Give me a second, let me copy that to my clipboard. Thank you. Every video game, zombies, zombies, zombies. I tell you. Headshot means that one's not getting back up. Okay. And he's out. Let's go. Let's go. I was a hundred percent sure this guy was dead.
All right, so now this is just like guys with big, big weapons stand here and police bodies, make sure nothing gets back up in a bad position. Y'all stay back here. You're out of ammo. You're done. You stay right here. All right. Cool. And then it's like whack-a-mole. If anything else decides to get back up, we just we just pop it before it's a problem. Get in there. Oh, oh, we got paid, chat. Oh, we just got paid. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. And then you can do some silly nimble stuff with this too. Like this plus an attachment. You can you can kind of do some funny stuff with these, but mm. how much was this camp? This camp was worth like 2k. <sighs> Easy. Never worried, never scared. I'm not gonna lie, I, I I thought a bunch of guys were gonna die there. Um, cool. This has been a good raiding trip so far. Um, so I'm not gonna go into another camp unless it's like a small brawl camp. Oh, that was my ambition too. Um, I'm not gonna go into another another camp unless it's like a small thrall camp. Like, I'll, I'll poke my head around. I kind of need to heal anyway. There's, like, unholds rolling around here, down here, too, that I need to be cognizant of. Um, Last time we walked here, yesterday when we walked up here, like, five hostile armies were ready to jump on us. So I need to be ready to deal with that, too. Um, Thralls and Reavers on nine guys. Uh, Thrall, it's only, it's probably seven, so it's probably like a nine on nine with not very many Reavers. Um, I don't, I don't need to force this right now. Sometimes that fight is super easy. The last couple times I've gone into camps where there were thralls. I kid you not, chat, it was like 12 thralls and 10 of them had throwing weapons. And it was not fun. I had a wipe because I ran up on some, some thralls and I was like, oh, you know, thralls, two of them are gonna have jabs, the rest of them are gonna run at me. Every single one of them pulled out jabs and they like focus fired down like two guys. Like, first turn they win. It was brutal. We're just sniffing around, seeing what we can see. We haven't found Goose yet. I always thought Goose liked, liked to spawn in the middle of the map. Where are you gonna sell your stuff? I'm going to, I'm gonna fill my bag, right? Cause like I'm getting high value loot. I'm gonna fill my bag and then I'm gonna double back south and and sell there. That camp has necro savants, I'm not doing it. Mmm, red new. Always right. Or I guess I guess I I guess I knock out the caravan. Cause it's, it's gonna be probably 10 in-game days before I make it back to sell. Maybe not. It depends on if I find things, if I'm hitting things that are giving me gold or not, so I can make pay. Right now we're four days, four days pay. That's fine, I guess. Again, looking for like thrall huts or something to hit. Take a peek back by the road. I'm careful about moving on 3x speed up here because there's a whole bunch of watchtowers, a whole bunch of barbarians aggroing the towers so there's like often a lot of armies on the roads up here 
because the barbarian spawn sites are super super active this is that nine stack again they really they really want to get got um i'll do it now so we're looking a little bit better but yeah we're gonna we're gonna double back south whoa whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. This is Thralls and Warhounds. They're running. I want the Reavers. I don't want, like, if I can not deal with Thralls right this second. That said, they always drop something you can sell for, like, 200 gold, right? Like, they always drop their little um, relic thing. Okay, not infinite Javs, which is fine. Barb throwing weapons would be great here. Looks like I'm not getting any though. <coughs> 19, that's terrible. Oh, he has a shield, that's why. <coughs> um, I'm not gonna step into a three tile choke if I can avoid it. Like this is, this is a dead man tile, right? This is a three on one. I would love to have hit those um, jabs there. Um, I'm also not keen on one on one a Reaver, but I will. If I don't zone him now, he probably wastes his action trying to circle around my back line. I could also try and stun him. Stunning is probably fine, right? Um, this part of the fight is fine. I don't mind having extra help to deal with this Reaver down here. Dodge is great. I was considering if the, the quick hands target is better. But like it's it's fine. I would love to get that guy off the table. There we go. Okay, going into this on low ground. I guess I guess I am. I still like the stun here. Didn't get it. Um, we'll push. Reduces attacks by one. That's why we push. This is extremely dangerous here. Got the stun. Ow, ow. So now we can't let this Reaver, we can't let this Reaver get here. Because then th that Reaver kills him. So I'm actually gonna forfeit an attack here to block the Reaver from getting my guy here. We're just lining up jabs. It's 
probably. Um, chill wall. If you don't die, eventually I kill the thing that's hurting you. I take, I take barbs very serious. I would love to break this. Again, I'm not worried about this right here. I don't want this guy, even though he ha even though he has a shield wall up, it's still high ground tile. It's still probably he's still probably rolling on like 30s. So if I could pressure that guy, but he's, I guess he's not breaking. Is what it is. I mean, I guess that, that actually worked out for us, right? Like, versus them attacking. I take it back. That was fine. I think I was more shocked about that than anything else. That guy just gets away, right? Um, I should probably be running help down here. Because the, the southern part of the fight... Could, could turn bad real quick. He's gone. But yeah, but yeah, toss like for me, like, like the selling stuff. It's okay if I have to wait a second to sell, if I'm building a very, very high value bag. You know what I mean? These aren't connecting. It's probably fine to dog here. I say as an arrow connects. It's fine. He needs a shield wall. Stay out of trouble. Good dog. All right, that's fight. Good fight on our part. Um, any injuries? No, that's great. Um, jazz. Low value fight. We didn't really get stuff. I mean, this this sells for like like a hundred something. This is fine. And I will kind of hang up here and craft my bag a little bit. So I have um, one of the quality of my life mods I have is called Smart Loot. Um, and it when I click it on the loot screen. It swaps out the super low value stuff for the higher value stuff that's on the ground. So I don't have to micro my inventory. So it makes raiders much more, much more, um, enjoy Ooh. Mm -mm. it might be time to head back because I don't have a, I don't have a good way to juke them. Right. Fixing primaries. I want to take this three. Like, I really do. That's like his last resolve roll. We'll, he'll, we'll give him a couple more points in vet levels. But that's his last resolve roll. Um, how banged up are we? You just started playing on beginner and you don't really make it past day 10. Uh, we keep working at it. Um, it, the game's brutal. 
um what you will find is as you get better um beginner actually starts to feel worse because the fights like the way the scaling works in the game you'll start seeing things that are like a raider and some thugs pretty quick and then you're just targeting like one raider like the shift doesn't feel as hard i think um but yeah just keep trying that it it takes time i don't win all my runs like um we we, we did say we were fine to take this fight right but welcome to the game welcome to the community glad to have you here and uh hopefully we can get better together man it's funny, I actually started streaming again, like I used to stream, but I started streaming again when my favorite Battle Brothers streamer stopped streaming the game. And like, it's kind of hard to find current resources to get better at this game. And like, I started streaming to find people to talk to about the stuff I was experiencing in the game to try and get better. This fight's gonna be painful if we don't start connecting. Like, I know I'm using ranged weapons at night, but like, I probably should hit this in the daytime. Like, we're definitely spending way more ammo than we would have. wall and shield wall this that was a terrible first turn I had to put somebody on the axes I need to get somebody on these throwing axes like I might dog here because these things hurt Trading a dog here for value. I hate dog AI. <laughs> Just, I want to go on the record saying I hate dog AI. Um, this guy's a little banged up. I don't necessarily want to put him on a cleaver. Doesn't have quick hands yet. We're just we're just literally throwing our ammo down the drain right now. I'm literally throwing chat. This is fine. I guess my line is better, so I still want to take this fight at night, right? Because how thralls hurt you is you run into a party that's heavy throwing weapons and just get murdered. Hitting stuff does help, though. Sometimes, sometimes you get some bad RNG. Just it is, it is what it is. Like we're gonna, we're gonna get popped a little bit. These things have quick hands. This guy's injured, but his armor's okay. I like step here and shield wall to stop the throwing. 
these guys will get army swords eventually. And they'll have quick hands. They'll be able to defend themselves a little bit better. That's why we level defense on our backliners, because sometimes that happens. Late game, it happens more than I care to admit. Bruh. <laughs> it's fine. Don't be salty. Be better. That's why we level melee attack on our backliners. thing I need to do is deal with this guy on bottom. Probably a net loss fight for us in terms of money. We spent a lot of ammo that fight po foolishly, poorly, um, which is my fault. Like I know better. Like, these guys aren't late-game gods that can just hit everything at night. Like, they're not there yet. So I shouldn't have been throwing like that. And if you're like, man, he seems like he's being kind of hard on himself. Like, he won the fight. No injuries. Didn't take that much damage. Because, like, profit matters. And it's not, it's not about... It's not about winning the fight. It's about how cleanly can you win the fight, right? And so, like, not taking a bunch of damage aside, like, we wasted a lot of ammo this fight. I mean, we got a healthy chunk of it back, at least. Like, that's fine. We take the level. Getting ready to turn back south. We still don't know. I still didn't make a decision on what I was doing with this guy, huh? Um, is this our first Battle Forge, bro? I think so. Like, I think we give him. Um, we assume he's going to be Battle Forge at this point, and we start leveling some fatigue. Um, what do we give him on this level as a hedge, though? Like, I still don't want to commit because I don't know when I'm going to have the armor. And this guy is more than capable of being a uh, dodge quick hand, bro. It's just he's, he's a little too good to be a dodge quick hand, bro, right? Like, double death stars, melee star. Like, if I give him dodge now, I can give him a two-hander and he starts producing right away. I guess either build, he's going to get quick hands, right? Is how I play that. Um, Let's see if... I'm poking the wild because I'm trying to... I also don't know where... Um, I don't know where Orc Country is yet. I think Goblin Country starts somewhere in here. But I don't know where Orc Country is yet. And around day 50... We're gonna stop raiding and we're gonna go tear up orcs nonstop for like until the crisis starts. If I see a small orc camp, I'll hit it now. But we're just kind of poking in the wilds to figure out where those two big zones start. At some point, we also need to find Monolith, but we're like. Oh, unhold graveyard. Bone plating anybody? Additional fur padding anybody? Don't mind if I do. Collar for our dog. That's it, chat. We we clear legendary. Runs over. I'm kidding. Um, we'll pop up on this peak real quick. 
You also need to heal a little bit after that fight. So I don't mind. Just trying to see where stuff is. Alright, let's cut back through here. We'll take a small beast fight if we see it. And then we'll work our way down to where we sell and we'll try and buy our tank. But yeah, Toss, if you have any uh, questions, anything you want to learn more about, like usually people are trying to want to know like the best ways to get gear. And if you're cool with it, like, I'll DM you some of the stuff that the guy who I learned, who I got good. I won't say I learned how to play, because I learned how to play watching Filthy Robot. But some weird sins is the guy who, who I got exponentially better at this game watching. He put together this incredible build guide. Um, like, it's a spreadsheet that has, like, all your benchmarks down to, like, the cost efficiency of the type of row you want to look for the role. It's like kind of sick what he built. And so when players are looking for resources, I kind of, if they don't mind, I'll, I'll like DM them that sometimes. If that's an area that you want to know more about, if you don't care, it's whatever, but we need to head back. We didn't, we, we found, I guess the, ooh, um, this is not, guarded like th there's no uh, fortifications and it's on the plains um there's no leader there i can hit this at night right like i can repair here and hit this at night if it's too spicy we just back out His mat's over 60. He should have an army sword at this point. Um, yeah, like, let's um, rest until nightfall, hit this camp, and then we'll, we'll push to sell. Like, we'll head south and sell and look for our 12th bro. They run at me because I outrange them. That's that's so great. Um, that's a long sword. That's cool. Um, so I don't step into this because they're running at me. I just tear them up as they walk in. Right? Like that's what I'm supposed to do. High ground. Disappointment. You're fine. Um, what's the most dangerous weapon? I have a better hit chance here. Like this guy steps in and gets murdered, right? This is kind of dangerous here. We just step back so he doesn't have an attack. The marksman shouldn't, I mean, the marksman might tear us off. if I should be more afraid of this than I am. I probably should be. Uh. 
All right, so I could stagger this. Like, I could stagger him to prevent this attack. Um, that's a real thing I could do here, right? I could switch. I could switch to pole arm, stagger, and then he doesn't get his attack off. Also, this is an 84, though. Ow. Um, you're running, so I don't particularly care. I want to stop the throwing. That's like the biggest risk to us right now. Um. You know, messing these guys up a little bit. That's like exactly where I wanted wanted him to go. That's a stun. set of fresh gear to sell though like that's a that's a real consideration all right so we like assume dagger formation against this guy if we can get it This guy has no, I guess he can squirt out this way. So I don't have him covered, unfortunately. <laughs> Too much damage to the armor. If I thought about it sooner, I could have daggered that, but I, I think we just end the fight. Don't worry about it. Okay, I lied, chat. I have a problem. <laughs> I have an addiction, okay? Alright, 
clean camp. Um, we got the longsword. That's cool. Um, this was fine. <laughs> like we made, we made. This was profit, right? Like straight profit. Smart loot go. All right. All right. Now we can go back and sell. This is his nimble level. a new toy for you um this is underdog for you good rolls good rolls this is quick hands for you Bad primaries are these bad primaries are like griefing me um a little bit. But yeah. Um how am I on tools? I'm like kinda okay on tools too. I don't necessarily want to hit smart repair though. But yeah, all in all, pretty pretty dang good. This guy's got dodge. Um next level he gets like on five, he gets quick hands and then he gets a two handed weapon as well. I have to check his initiative. I have to make sure he can actually, like, he has enough defense. Like, I might have to wait a couple levels before I do that for him. Again, we're just kind of poking our heads out a little bit, seeing what's going on. We, we will run if we see something bad. We're kind of maintaining right now, so. Huh. It's pretty empty. These are beasts of some kind. If it's like a couple dire wolves, I'll fight it. Yeah. Again, we're trying to trying to unlock red new. Are they frenzied? No. I still take them very seriously as a threat. he backing i guess fine i don't i don't care about xp from this fight i care about i care about getting credit for doing a beast fight right now like i don't care about pelts i don't care about any of that right this second Trying to get this this retinue unlocked. Hey, 
Hey, and the XP matter. We are quite full on goods. Um, nimble. I thank you. Um, still fixing HP. Like, he's got dodge, so this is, this and this are worth about the same, but this makes him faster. Thank you. Nimble. Terrible one, that's fine, hate to see it. Same thing, this is, this five, like, it's, it's fine. Nimble. Okay, we have bros hitting nimble now. That is not bad. Um, like we have some low value loot. Like if we find something else we, we really want to hit, we can hit it and not feel like we're, we're being wasteful. What are you? You're undead. Um. Undead fights tend to be extremely profitable. How banged up are we? Oh, we're fine. We look great, Chad. I'm gonna make sure this undead fight isn't something crazy and then I'm gonna take it. I also don't wanna get ambushed by like whatever giant roving party that is. Let's see what you are. Um, that's a little much for us right now, right? I mean, no necro is no necro. Um, I don't have good control for the nachos, I think. And I don't have the, I don't have the DPS yet for this fight. I un unironically would have preferred a necromancer. This we fight. Like. And we just wait forever for these non-Pathfinder guys to come to us. Because the nachos aren't going to come in either until the, uh, the zombies get on us. This is, this is basically free XP, right? We're still looking for another guy. Um, I'd like to get a tank to start babysitting so I don't have to spend all late game. In order to do monolith, I need at least one tank, preferably two. But like, it's fine. Undead, undead um, like barbarians have a scripted drop of, um, they like to drop like valuables, gems, jewels, signet rings, that type of thing. Even in party fights, that kind of offsets the fact that their gear is usually, oh, I hit the wrong button, <laughs> my bad. It offsets the fact that their gear is usually, um, usually poop. Like by the time, by the time, it's already damaged when you start the fight. By the time they run to you, you kill them twice. Like they usually don't ha don't drop much. Like you'll get weapons off of undead usually. That's about it. Although they can kind of be a, a loot fiesta with um, the barbarian procs. It's like control the corpse or control the nacho. Either one works. I also don't know how many nachos there are here, right? A 
I presume not many, probably two. <laughs> As a third one spawns. That's fine. This this part of the fight is under control. the crew right yeah this guy on the bottom only has one stack of jabs I don't think he has quick hands yet I'm gonna need to be able to deal with some type of damage to the nachos when you circle around or they just step in that's that's perfectly acceptable too silly nachos can wait. Okay. This can wait. I don't like nachos, chat. I know I'm not supposed to attack a fleeing enemy. I just don't like nachos. Especially the big Nacho that we've affectionately dubbed Nacho Supreme on this channel. Oh, I wasn't supposed to switch there. That's fine. have a better bow in my inventory that I didn't equip either. I should probably stop autopiling it before, before it gets somebody killed. That's, that's probably the, the correct thing to do. Yeah, not much. Spent a bunch of ammo. XP was good. Smart loot, go. Get rid of the low value crap. That's why I use it. Alright. Cut back this way. See if we hit a wagon. I see footprints. I see a wagon. That's a wagon, right? It's 100% a wagon? Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that's a wagon if I can get to it. Or is it troops? Two sets of footprints. It's a little blurred. It's hard to tell. Like normally I can tell by the spacing what's what. Like it doesn't matter we were coming this way to sell anyway. It looks like a wagon, yo. See if they run at us. They are running at us. We'll wait turn. Don't want to, we're not going to use a bunch of throwing ammo. We're just going to smash you guys. Take their stuff. Same thing we've been doing all stream, guys. He has quick hands. I don't mind using bow ammo here. It's like fine and convenient.
I want to throw. Rating is fair and balanced, I promise, chat. Why did I play the bad guy music? I'm not the villain here. Was it uh, two donkeys, five dudes? If so, nice, easy wagon. Yep, two donkeys, five dudes. Um, a bunch of food. Oh, uh, smart loot. Let's see if I disagree. Um, I do not disagree with smart loot on this. And then we'll check sell price at this town. We might push to the Citadel to sell. take a pause there all right guys we're back this is going pretty well um i just want to check sell price here is sell price is reasonable we'll hurry up and sell and then turn back up 17 is pretty reasonable i take 17 right yeah i, I take 17 um I do have like bows equipped to save ammo, so I, I guess I'll keep this good bow. I don't like it, but I'll, I'll, I need to. Ammo is expensive. Like ammo costs will just kill you running. Getting paid. <laughs> So another thing that Smart Loot lets me do is it lets me favorite items. So then it goes up here, has a star on it. I can auto sell things. It, it's just, it's handy. So you don't spend your whole playthrough rummaging through your inventory. Like I don't know anyone who just like is in love with doing that. I still have a butter knife on somebody. I know I do, yep. Um, okay. Lots of nets, lots of tools. So the first thing we do, we go to our handy dandy retinue screen. And it's tough, right? Cause I, like, do we spend money on the brigand at this point? It's late enough in the, in the run that we might not. Any Battle Brothers uh, experts out there got an opinion on this? 
Like, we probably need to do, like, two or three more trips. The Brigand does make the trips more profitable. Um, we could afford the Brigand and the Lookout if we, if we had, um, if we, but we don't have the Renown for it, which feels bad. But I guess the Brigand gives us our next big chunk of Renown. Answer my own question, I guess. All right, cool. Um, we'll swap out a bad bow. Like we're using bows to save ammo until we get crossbows. And then we'll use those to save ammo. Um, this caravan hand is still here. Incredible. Oh, and he has a friend here now too. Um, I'm looking for a class with high death. So this mod is another quality of life. Um, you could go to the wiki and memorize the roll ranges for every class. Or you could have a mod like this that just shows you like, this is the potential roll ranges for this class. Now I don't see this guy, right? So this isn't tryout mod, this isn't smart recruiter. I don't know how this guy is gonna roll. I just know that this is the range that jugglers roll. Um, it's very handy when you're trying to figure out what you're looking for or when you're trying to find something specific. So I know I want something that has good defense potential because um, I'm looking for a tank to start babysitting. None of those things are the tank I want to babysit though. All right, let's... Don't need this, don't need this, don't need this. I'm gonna keep a hammer because I have another I have another quick hands bro that's getting ready to come online. Um, Maces are working fine for those guys. So I don't need the armor. Don't even need the helms. I don't have any, have any Battle Forge bros yet. Um, and even when I get Battle Forge, like, we're about to start hitting um, big boy caravans here in a second. Like, we're about to start hitting Noble Wagons. That's our next stop. Um, if I'm going to do this, I guess I'm not using bow, the bows anymore. He can't hold the net because he's got to be able to pull out the banner. Although most fights, he doesn't need it, right? And like, if I'm fighting undead, I'll just unequip it or drop it on the ground or something. So I guess we sell this bow too. Um, buy a spare net. There's a town around here with cheap ammo. These are relatively inexpensive tools. That's 60, so that takes us to 90. Let's get tools right. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, we're in pretty good shape. We just need to buy some ammo from somewhere. We're gonna follow these tracks. Um, to the east. It's probably straight raiders at this point. Six raiders. inclined to step into these guys at all the fact that they ran forward means no, no throwing weapons so these are lower raiders probably
Um, do I want to step in on this guy? Probably not. They like they still run at us. They still run at us if I don't. So just play it patient. Like we never lose this fight here, but we again we want to win as clean as possible, right? Like the cleaner you win, the more the more profit you make. Oh, throwing weapons. So I guess, do I have a bow on anybody? It's weird that they ran forward, but whatever. Um, I'll still throw 35. Two sets of throwing weapons. Step into a three man. They don't have quick hands. So this isn't as scary as it looks. And he's not gonna be he's not gonna be on this dead man's tile for very long. Now it's a two man. to throw anymore um one two three do I have the double dagger here like I do right So I need one body here. Which my th one of my throwers has the highest in death to sit there? I probably haven't leveled it much on these guys yet. That's fine. Somebody, somebody can sit there for like a turn. Probably the one who's gonna have the easiest time getting there. Maybe I just don't have to do that. Cause he didn't break. Daggering to increase the value of the drops. If he causes three tools and damage while I'm daggering, I don't care. Is this a caravan? So I took the brigand, but it, it probably hasn't procced yet. So we're gonna check this. This looks like caravan tracks to me. And there's a town up there that's worth a lot of money. It's got a gem, gem mine and a salt mine. The, this is a caravan. This is moving like a caravan or, or it's an army, but I don't think it's an army. The speed and the fact that it's staying on the road makes me think caravan. So I'll run it down. Oh. I'm close to it. Nope, it's an army. Dang it. Feels bad. We'll turn this in and then we'll go buy ammo. We're pretty vulnerable without ammo. Running running four throwers. Um, but that's okay though. And maybe we'll check some of the other, um, that sound means the brigand is working fine. Ooh, peasants. That, that sound means the brigand is triggering. 
So that's going to be good for us. We also need a card upgrade. Like we're about to make a whole bunch of money and like start snowballing off of the money. Why am I, I'm, I'm gonna let them run all the way to it. But yeah, if you're just joining us, welcome. Um, I know a lot of people are playing now on console through the port, um, welcome. This has been one of my favorite games for a very long time. Um, it's a bit of a, a butt kicker for new players. Um, if you have any questions about anything, feel free to ask. And I'll distinguish if it's like opinion or if like it's something I believe, if it's like a, a fact of the game, that type of thing. You know, you have your own theories about how to play, whatever. Just, just run them by me, I'm, I'm here for it. That guy's dead. I just need to wait till my next round of attacks, right? Like I can end round here. Ha! Huh. We gotta level off those peasants. Love, love to see it, chat. Love to see it. Um, this is your quick hands level. We're gonna take this three here. I'd like to get these guys to about fifteen. I just, I don't want a low tier melee unit getting on them to be a guaranteed death sentence. Is like that's the objective with leveling that stat line there. Like obviously they're never they're not gonna line up against the chosen and win, right? But when you're fighting the giant orc party, occasionally things bleed through and you just don't want them to, to die to that. Okay, so I got a food wagon coming my way up top. That I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and get. I'm gonna try and walk over there and get that. Do I just buy this overpriced ammo? kind of do like I'm making a lot of money right now it's just like the, the cost of using throwers don't need these shields got my pricing shield right here ah this feels bad I'll just buy I'll just buy enough to like reload and then there should be cheaper ammo and potentially bros up here Oh, chat, you gotta say something. No, nah, I'm kidding. I didn't see it either. All right. That was one that spawned before I had the brigand, obviously. Um, I don't think they're gonna run at me, so. Maybe if I step forward a little bit, they will. Caravan AI is so weird. They're probably not running at me, it's fine. Um, I wanna dagger that guy, that guy specifically, cause he has 95 mail. And everybody else can just get wrecked. And it's like, I know I'm selling 110 mail, but I tend to autopilot my nimble bros. Like I, I put a 95 on them, put a pelt on it, call it good. I don't micro for like fights where I might take more um, raw HP pen and like try and play with the numbers. I'm just like, I just try to have the, the best armor with perfect nimble is like fine for me. That, 
this weapon being out should cause them to run forward. We'll see. Yep. Um, we'll conserve ammo if we can. Like, I don't know if we need to, to throw a lot in this fight. Like, we will if it gets spicy or dangerous or something. But we probably don't need to throw a lot. That said, I, I did, like, just casually walk a guy into a three tile surround. This right here that I did, where I let this guy end up in this three tile surround, never do this, chat. Like, I know you just saw me do it. Don't do it. It's bad. You'd be like, oh, this guy's super strong. He's fine. No, your guy will get worked. Because of all the plus the hit bonuses right here. Am I am I using throwing am I using ammo this fight? Probably just to stabilize it a little bit. I just let him act. So I'm gonna make sure I get the dagger. I shouldn't have to throw after this. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't need to use any more throwing ammo. because I don't have the full surround. Cool, got it. Um, this is fine. Okay. Three lumber, 95 mil that we need. 